rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials, grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. Amen. Roll call, please. Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Mastrovich? Here. Rindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody here tonight. Approval of minutes for our last meeting of the City Council that was held on August 7th. Motion be in order. Motion. Support. Any discussion on the motion or the minutes? Do you not? All in favor of the motion to signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Approval of minutes. We move on to audience comments on any items that are not on the agenda. If anybody would like to address the city council, now, now would be the time to come up to the microphone, state your name and your address to the clerk. Jeff? Mr. Mayor, honorable council members, it's old home week. Uh, it's nice to be back in the chambers. Uh, I want to thank you for allowing me to open up the hall, the, the council room for I could have a visiting time with uh, residents. A few residents came in. We talked about issues affecting the state, so I thank you for allowing me that, that opportunity. Just kind of, I also feel a duty to report back to local government and what's going on in Lansing. We are on a little break, this, obviously, but I'm still working on issues through the summer. Just uh, you should feel good about this. Revenue sharing is going to be maintained and increased, not to be where I'd, I'd like to see it, but you know, as you know, a budget is negotiations, and you don't always get what you want, but you're going to see an increase come October. So I'm very happy to see that. Keep fighting for the fact that local government is where most of the services are provided. We need to support local government. Also, Act 51, you'll see an addition, additional funds come for, your, for roads. The city's always done a great job as far as budgeting long term, but hopefully continue to make that, that support. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you for acknowledging that the state did contribute money for the election machines. Uh, <laughs> as, 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 while I've been at the council table, I've always uh, pushed uh, back against the state for unfunded mandates. And apparently, as my wife reminds me, I am now the man and uh, that I, I got to make sure that I don't uh, pass any unfunded mandates. Uh, uh, all those, all those years complaining about them, I can't be uh, doing that to locals. So I continue to, to fight for that. So again, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, for allowing that. I appreciate all the work that the council is doing for a great city. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Anybody else like to address city council? Chief? I'd like to uh, reach out to the residents and have them please check the website and see if anyone's interested in position as a crossing guard. Uh, school is almost upon us, and we could use a couple of uh, additional people to help staff those corners that we have. Um, the information is on the city website, so if they would check, click on service and down to employment, it has all the particulars. So, like Otherwise, that. they can call City Hall or the PD? Correct, yes. And uh, was it 727 4,000. 4, 4, yep. And uh, if they don't have access to a computer? And yes. Very good. Yep, thank you. Anybody else? Moving on. Adoption agenda. Mr. City Manager, any changes? No changes, but I did place another uh, a replacement item five. Uh, the page with the motion was omitted. Okay, council so noted. Council, any changes? Be in order. Motion to accept the agenda as presented. Be in order. Motion. Support. Motion been made and support. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Do you not? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? The motion does pass. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion has been made and supported to accept the consent agenda. There is no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? The motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration, which we have eight this evening. The first one being consideration of the purchase of road salt. Something none of us look forward to, Mr. City Manager. <laughs> City of Richmond currently participates in the My Deal program uh, through the state of Michigan. My Deal is an extended purchasing program which allows Michigan units of government to use state contracts for purchasing. 
Uh, under my deal, the city is required to take a minimum of 70% and up to 130% of the amount we are requesting. Uh, this year, the city has requested 700 tons of road salt uh, for the current season, and the city is required to take 490 tons, but can order as much as 910 tons. Uh, this year's price is $30.78 a ton, which is $9.54 uh, less than last year. Very good. Is there a motion? I make a motion to authorize the expenditure of up to $21,546. To Morton Salt for the purchase of road salt for fiscal year 1718 winter season with the expense charge to the appropriate line item general fund. Support. What's been made in support? Any discussion on the motion? Nine dollars and some odd cents cheaper, nine dollars and fifty-four cents per ton cheaper than last year. Jim was feeling it's probably due to the last couple winters and using less, having more supply in the system can you buy that other 210 ton if needed at that price or is it a one-time uh, we can order in really in 50 ton increments so whatever we're, we need we purchase up to 900 correct yeah up to 900 they get the same price anything else any audience participation back to the table in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number two is consideration of the purchase of cemetery mower. Mr. City Manager. The 1718 budget included funds for the purchase of a 48 inch zero turn mower. Uh, if approved, uh, the city's 2005 X mark will be retired. Uh, the city DPW. Uh, went through an extensive testing of various machines through different all different local vendors and the DPW uh, would like uh, council to consider uh, the purchase of an X mark radius X uh, through uh, Zimmers uh, they've again based on the budget purchase price and service very good is there a motion before discussion I make a motion to authorize six thousand seven hundred ninety dollars for the purchase of an X mark radius for the Zimmer sale and service with the expense charged the appropriate line item equipment acquisition cemetery fund support what's been made and supported any discussion it's obviously the lowest bid yeah. in uh, X mark is, is that's what we're replacing I believe you said correct yes yeah 12 year old also these prices um, I think mr. city manager you mentioned to me that these prices were the same exact prices that were on my deal yes uh, the ones that my deal may not have every mower but yeah. the ones that we could find that match this were the same price yes. the same price okay so we're on the running on the state's uh, yep. bids very good any other comments it just makes sense, uh, Mr. Mayor, to take the lowest price after comparing them online. They seem to be pretty much the same type of machines for what we're going to use it, so save as much money as possible. I agree. Anybody else? Yes. And also, uh, the, the next machine that they're uh, considering is uh, $1,000 more. Yeah. Um, so. Yes, um, and it's a different model. Right, different model. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any audience comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number three is consideration of BS and A proposal. The city manager. Council is scheduled to consider approving a proposal from BS and A to switch the city's accounting software from fund balance to BS and A. Uh, the cur city currently uses BSNA for, or I'm sorry, fund balance for general ledger, cash receipts, utility billing, accounts pay payable, payroll, cemetery, and capital assets. Uh, and we've been using that since about 1995. Uh, both Macomb and St. Clair counties require that the city uses BSNA for tax and assessing purposes. And in our review of different uh, accounting software and looking at both Macomb and St. Clair counties what communities are using uh, it's very evident that the majority of communities are making if they haven't already switched to BSNA 
they're in the process of switching. Um, as we went over, we talked about this during the uh, budget workshops, and there's certainly benefits uh, to going to the BSNA. It makes uh, getting a credit card machine much easier. Uh, the one that we would need to buy for um, fund balance doesn't match up with the BSNA type stuff, and so you'd be double entering items. Uh, also, the BSNA uh, software has a much easier interface for like online payments, that sort of thing. And so, uh, our recommendation, as we mentioned in the uh, budget workshop, is to switch over all of our system to uh, BSNA. And uh, Angel's here, uh, the city treasurer, if, if you have any questions for either of us. Is there a motion before discussion? I make a motion to approve the proposal from BSNA to update the city's accounting software in an amount not to exceed $66,320 with the cost split among the following funds. General Fund, $25,260. Major Street, $6,353. Local Street, $6,353. TIFA Fund, $6,353. Sewer Fund, $11,000. And Water Fund, $11,000. Support. Most been made and supported. You need discussion. Uh, I am excited about this coming, Mr. Mayor. Um, one, it's the only way we're going to get online pay, which is something I've wanted for years, and I ran into an issue. I forgot to pay my water bill, brought it in the last day. It would have been so nice just to pay it online. But that's the convenience aside, just that with we've reduced our staff so much, this will shorten their time on duplicate procedures and we also need to be brought into this century with our technology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i imagine angel you would probably echo some of those same state statements as far as bringing us up to <laughs> speed on this Pro so. probably the number one request at the counter is for credit card payments is yeah well, yeah every day probably we hear yeah. people asking for credit card payments so. everybody's gotten so used to using the credit card and so much easier to to utilize instead of the cash yeah. so yeah I, I agree I think we we worked that over pretty good in our workshop uh, se sessions um, it's a, a big bite there sixty six thousand dollars but yes. you say I think it's going to save a lot of time uh, and personnel and uh, hopefully yeah and certainly uh, as I mentioned a lot of communities are making the switch uh, there is a significant lead time once we uh, sign, sign the agreement, it's more than likely going to be after the first year that they make that switch. Um, but with the number of communities that are going from fund balance to BSNA, one of the concerns that the city has uh, is, is at some point the makers of fund balance will just stop supporting and stop developing that software, you know, updates and everything. How about our audit? Will it make our audit much simpler or quicker or anything? Um, it sh it should make it a little. I mean, it it should make it a little bit easier. Yes, okay. I agree. Yeah, I'll help in running reports because it'll all be together, so we can run reports. Um, you know, all out of the same system instead of yeah. okay. depending on what they're Chief? asking for. I know there's a payroll component to that that will be huge for all of us that are doing payroll, <clears throat> as well as the credit card side on the police department too, being able to utilize that uh, that utility. So yes. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Any other comments, Council? Audience comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number four, consideration of special event requests from the Richmond Band Boosters for their annual pumpkin and craft sale. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider a request from the Richmond Band Boosters to help uh, ever uh, to have additional signage, temporary signage in the community that will help advertise and direct people to the fourth annual pumpkin craft and vendor sale, which is scheduled for October 7th and 8th. Uh, in the past, councils uh, given permission for groups such as this to place uh, lawn signs near the blue city limit signs, uh, as well as uh, in people's front yards, as long as they're on the inside of the sidewalk. Um, with the uh, signs that would be near the city limit signs, we normally limit that to two weeks. Uh, so that would be uh, beginning Saturday, September 23rd. Very good. Is there a motion? 
I'll make a motion to approve the special event application for the Richmond Band Boosters to temporary signage in conjunction with the annual pumpkin craft and vendor sale October 7th and 8th. The signs placed at the city limits will be allowed beginning Saturday, September 23rd. The applicants shall work with the city staff on proper placement and signs to minimize any site visibility issues. Support. Was been made and supported. <coughs> any discussion? Any audience participation on this item? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number five is consideration of the Romeo to Richmond race and the half marathon, a 5K, and a one mile fun run. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to give consideration on a request from Macomb County and Hanson's Running Club for the 2017 Romeo to Richmond half marathon. 5k and for this year the super one mile fun run uh, this is the eighth <coughs> year of the event and uh, the additional one mile fun run or super mile uh, is to kind of try and get uh, families with younger children to be able to participate and not have such a long distance and so uh, I did as I mentioned during the adoption of the agenda uh, the motion is on the table in front of you and also John Crumb from the Department of Roads is here if you have any questions on the event. Thank you. Is there a motion before discussion? I make a motion to approve the special event application from Macomb County for the Romeo to Richmond Half Marathon and 5K run on Sunday, September 17th, 2017, and allow closure of Parker Street from Water to Monroe from 8.30 a.m. and the rest of the Parker Street and Ridge Street from 9 a.m. until runners are on the trail. Support. Most been made and supported. Mr. Crum, did you have anything that you wanted to add? As, uh, as John mentioned, this is the eighth year. Um, we, uh, it's a race, the, the large race of all three, the half marathon starts out in Romeo early in the morning. Um, we have uh, sheriff support on that, uh, as well as approval across the townships to uh, cross the intersections on the trail. So we have safety in place. We um, look to have uh, a number of people running that, and uh, typically we the whole event ends up at the park oh, about 12:30. Whole thing wraps up, so it's not a uh, all-consuming day and and uh, I think people enjoy it and come out any questions of mr. Crum? Mm -hmm. thank you John yep any other comments from the audience back to the table all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. against the motion does pass hopefully we have great weather Item number six, consideration of designating an ML, MML voting delegate and alternate voting delegate. Mr. City Manager. We received notice from the Michigan Municipal League that the annual convention will be held in Holland, Michigan, September 13th through the 15th, and they are requesting that we name a delegate and an alternate who will be there to vote. Thank you, sir. Uh, Michael has done this for a number of years, uh, and uh, former councilman, Yarick uh, also and uh, I think Mike has indicated that he'd like to continue to be our delegate um, uh, Does anybody else care to uh, Do that I'm interested, but I will be in Atlanta, so I'm not able to attend I'm gonna be able to attend. Okay. Okay, then uh, is there a motion? I make a motion to designate Mike Mistrovich as the city's official MML representative to cast the vote of the city of Richmond at the annual meeting. Support was been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for the uh, designation to doing this. It's been I've been involved for, for a number of years, as has former Councilor Yark, our current state representative. So I'm honored to uh, represent the city. Um, I think it's beneficial that we have somebody there. I know last year we kind of. Maybe a strong word boycotted just from the fact that it's <laughs> Mackinac. 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 Yes. Island. So I think it's good that we get back into it and 
I'm happy to. Yeah, bring it back down. Yep. Uh, it's Holland. Yeah, am it's I not correct? so far away. Yep. Yeah, Holland. Yep. Um, and then, yeah. Great. And then, and then normally with this, then too, we kind of do a cost sharing thing. So all I would ask for is just the registration fee and then the, the lodging, and then I'll take care of uh, the gas and stuff like that. Great. Great. So. City Council, any other comments? Appreciate it. Michael, any audience comments? Probably missed that trip. Or are you going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Better be there. I don't have it on my agenda. No? Oh. <laughs> if it was Mackinac, you'd be there, right? <laughs> I've always been the MLA Council. Were you with us last year when we yes. decided this? Yep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Uh, we also need to designate an alternate. Is there anybody that would like to be the alternate? Just in case. How about the city manager? Is the MML, can the city manager be uh, the, or is that SEMCOG? SEMCOG, I can be the alternate. SEMCOG, I can, don't believe I can be the alternate for the MML. Okay. okay. I'd be willing, but I, I think it has to be an elected official. Uh, elected official, okay. All right. Is there anybody that would like to do that, just in case? Let's see if I can. Pardon me? Maybe Dennis. Does, did Dennis say he wanted to do that? Can I put me down? It's alternate only. Yes. Oh, you will? Okay. Okay. Is there a motion? Hurry I'll up, make Jamie. A motion. I make a motion to <laughs> Dennis Lohor as the city's official MML alternate, alternate representative to cast the vote on the city of Richmond at the annual meeting should the official representative not be in attendance. Support. Oh, that's too slow. That's made and supported. <laughs> Any audience comments? We're not even going to talk to Dennis about this. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the table. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll Just be. in case? <laughs> Just in case. Okay, great. Stay healthy. Great. We appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Michael will be there. Yes. Mm -hmm. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Thanks again. Um, changing uh, item number seven is changing location of the September 5th council meeting, Mr. City Manager. For the last four years, the City Council has always switched the uh, location of the meeting the right after Labor Day to the one-room schoolhouse over at the Historic Village in uh, Bailey Park. And so uh, we've made arrangements that uh, they'll have that building available for us if we want to. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make a motion to change the location of the September 5th, 2017 City Council meeting from the City offices to the Schoolhouse in Bailey Park at 36045 Park Street. Support. What's been made and supported? Any discussion? We started this, uh, say, four years ago, John, mm -hmm. um, in recognition of the Good Old Days Festival. Uh, it's kind of appropriate for us to meet in the old schoolhouse. and. Uh, Got a little warm last year, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it can be, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyhow, it's very nice of the Historical Society to open their doors for us uh, during that good old days uh, week of celebrations to host our meeting there. Any audience comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number eight is consideration of charitable solicitations in roadways policy. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider reapproving the guidelines for soliciting on city streets. The guidelines were initially adopted in 2014 and provided council with guidance for handling requests from nonprofit organizations uh, wishing to solicit funds in the intersections. Uh, back then, the uh, document really kind of gave guidance on what nonprofits uh, we would allow uh, and we limited it to those nonprofits operating within the Richmond School District. In July of 2016, the Attorney General Bill Schutte issued an opinion on whether civic and service clubs could legally uh, seek contributions in the intersections and at that time uh, issued an opinion that they were not legally allowed to do that. So we then uh, ad passed a motion to follow uh, that Attorney General's opinion. Since then, earlier this year, uh, the state legislature and governor approved Public Act 112 of 2017, which now uh, makes it legal once again 
uh, for charitable organizations to solicit in the intersections. Um, it does define uh, kind of how, uh, what groups are able to and what some of the regulations uh, they need to meet are. Uh, I have included those uh, regulations directly from the uh, law into the uh, new guidelines that I provided in your sheet. And then I also, in accordance with Section 2A of the law, which allows uh, local governments uh, to enact or enforce regulations restricting but not prohibiting uh, the activity. So once again, uh, I put uh, into our guidelines uh, what we had prior, uh, which is that uh, it is limited to those groups operating within the Richmond School District. Uh, so for your consideration tonight uh, is this uh, new kind of revised guidelines uh, that do comply with Public Act 112 of 2017. Uh, and um, also some of the documents in the public act is uh, are also included in your uh, packet. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to adopt the guidelines for soliciting on city streets that bring the city of Richmond into compliance with public act 112 of 2017. Support. Most been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, so the groups that formerly have been soliciting, do they have to reapply because we had them go through and, and document They will everything? need to reapply to kind of follow the new law. Okay. Um, I know one has already uh, submitted for a December uh, event. Um, and I want to get this, since we had time, I want to do the guidelines first uh, and then uh, put them on the agenda afterwards. So if there were any changes to this, I could get with them. and. And <coughs> excuse me, but uh, I guess to answer your question, yeah, if, if we don't have some of the documents still on file, we'll ask for those just to make sure we have them all. Other than that, it's pretty similar to uh, our guidelines before, other than that now the state law specifically states that uh, local governments are not liable. So, so do they have to, like, let's say they're on M19, which is a Michigan, mm -hmm. under the jurisdiction of MDOT, do they have to apply to MDOT as well, or? That's always been the case, even under our old guidelines. Right. We never really had necessarily full permission to, you know, so I'm looking at it as the state law allows them to solicit in the streets, we're following the state law, and, and we're gonna approve those organizations operating within the city. You know, no different than, that part of it's no different than the previous guidelines. Any other comments? I'm glad to see that it was addressed <coughs> fairly swiftly because it did hurt, as we have heard. It hurt quite a few of the organizations that used to uh, collect on the streets. It was much more difficult for them to raise funds. So, as long as safety is uh, considered, it looks like it's. <coughs> very considered in the, the new document, much more so than what we used to have. So anyhow, any other comments? Any audience comments on this item? Go ahead, Jeff. <coughs> yeah, Representative Yarrick, 35545 pound. <laughs> uh, just comedy about this, just want to share with you the initial bill that came into the House uh, early on session didn't have so much as far as the local control piece and I said it worked with other legislatures to make sure that that local piece uh, was maintained uh, and a lot of the concerns that uh, I saw as a council member with this type of activity was actually included it, so I worked with other legislators so I wanted to share with you that uh, the issue of local control was definitely heard uh, in Lansing as far as making sure that piece was in there because um, it definitely affects us and it's that it, uh, it's in the motor vehicle code uh, is where it's dealt with so very often it, it would as you being a road agency and as being uh, the law enforcement uh, for those areas so very good thank you any other comments back to the table all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. against motion passes we move on to city manager's comments sir I would just like 
uh, kind of ask for patience. I, I know it's difficult for all of us uh, getting around town uh, with the uh, Canadian National and MDOT working on the railroad tracks. Uh, let's make it very clear it's not our project and, and we have very little control. Uh, we've, we've reached out to state officials, uh, MDOT and CN, uh, trying to get them to cooperate and move the project along. Uh, knock on wood, assuming that the railroad replaces the tracks tomorrow, uh, which they are, I talked to the project engineer today and they are still scheduled for tomorrow at nine, uh, which is about a week later than what they had originally anticipated. Um, we should still be good, uh, hopefully to get that opened up before Labor Day weekend. Um, you know, uh, again, you know, it's just, but it's very difficult. I know for a lot of people to kind of get to where they need to go, but please uh, drive cautiously when you do. Moving on to council comments. Rob? Uh, nothing tonight. John? Nothing tonight. Emily? Nothing, thank you. Jamie? Um, just want to thank the community for, we've just had a couple of situations within the Taffel football of a coach passing away and then with our firefighter, and they just continue to support those two families, and I'm just amazed by that. And it was, it's, it's emotional to see a community come together like that, but know that when something does happen, the city of Richmond stands together with each other. And I just want to thank the community for that. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. Very good. Dennis. I'm good. Michael. I'm good too. I'm going to go right to what is going on here. We have a, on August 25th at 1030 in the morning, the final summer entertainment series uh, our recreation department at the community center there will be an exhibit from an exotic zoo and it says please make sure to come to share this wonderful presentation and it is free again that's August 25th at 10 30 in the morning at the community center this Sunday August 27th the infamous cow chip bingo <laughs> is back um, I don't have all of the, uh, yes I do, it says right here, Richmond High School Athletic Stadium, like it had been in the past. Uh, you can buy a raffle ticket, and it's $20 per ticket. It, this is put on by the Richmond Athletic Boosters, and all funds, I believe, are going to go, yes, uh, all funds will be benefiting the freshman sports program. And there is no number to contact and I don't know that the school is open yet. Um, I wonder if uh, we have them call the probably recreation the, department. Uh, the administrative offices probably yeah. would. Okay. Athletic department. The school is open. Yeah. School is open yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, so 727, I th believe it's 3565? Five? Yes, I believe so. Uh, anyhow, call the high school or call the uh, uh, central office and they can probably guide you to the uh, where to get one of these tickets. They were previously being sold uh, on August 17th, um, but this is a few days old now, so. And also uh, online, I think it's on the different social media that the school has. Okay. Uh, so if you can, okay. if people can seek that out as well. Okay, so Richmond Community Schools, Richmond Athletic Boosters. Hopefully you can find that. Uh, but it is this Sunday, the 27th. Also we have, um, the library is announcing something called the uh, Bouquet from Paris. Um, it's going to be held September 13th at 3 p.m. And it's going to be at the Lois Wagner Memorial Library, hosting by Barbara Warren um, for a Paris-themed travelogue. It's going to be complete with a make and take flower bouquet project. Spots are limited, and you need to call the library uh, to call and reserve your spot. And that again is on September 13th. We go to our regular calendar here. Uh, today being the 21st, we do have a TIFA meeting on the 23rd. Yes. At 7 o'clock, right here at City Hall. The last of the um, summer concert series will be at 7 p.m. at BB Park Pavilion on the 24th. Uh, that takes us into September, believe it or not. And that would be Labor Day weekend. 
the library will be closed on Saturday of the 2nd and of course uh, City Hall and the library DPW everybody will be closed other than our police department on Labor Day the 4th and the next regular scheduled City Council meeting will be held at 7 p.m. on the 5th at the uh, historic um, schoolhouse in Bailey Park and of course we have the Richmond area good old days festival that will start on September 7th is there anything else that we need to add to the calendar at this point in time okay we move on we do have a closed session this evening um, we will take a 10 minute break in between but we need a motion to convene into that closed session first is there a motion Make a motion to convene, convene into its closed session in accordance with Section 8C of Michigan Open Meetings Act, Public Act 267 of 1976, as amended for strategy and negotiation sessions connected with the negotiation of a collective bargaining agreement as requested by administration. Support has been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Green? Yes. LaFour? Yes. Mastrovich? Yes. Rondell? Yes. Ricks? Yes. Warren? Yes. Allen? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, I'd like to say we'll take a small break here and uh, meet in the closed session room. Okay, we're back. Uh, we need a motion to reconvene into open session. Is there a motion? I make a motion to reconvene into open session. Support. What's been made and supported. Any questions or comments on the motion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? We're back in open session. Our next item is other business under other business is the collective bargaining agreement with the Police Officers Association of Michigan for our patrol officers. Mr. City Manager. Uh, before you is a motion uh, that uh, we have for the wage and insurance reopeners for both 1718 and 1819. Thank you very much. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve the wage and insurance reopener for contract years 2017-2018 and 2018-2019 with the POAM patrol officers as agreed to in the letter. Support. Must have been made and supported. Any discussion? Seems like a very fair contract. Yes. Appreciate the administration's work on it along with the uh, Police Officers Association in your administration. Any other comments? Any audience comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Aye. Motion does pass. We are into adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There is no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.